I don't know, for some reason, tuwing may malaking event sa akin, nagkakasakit ako. So, and that affects me, syempre, yung boses ko or ngongo ako. Ako, napakadami po. <laughs> Pero there's so many to mention na even some I would not dare to mention. <laughs> pero, <laughs> pero I think, um I, I don't know, for some reason, tuwing may malaking event sa akin, nagkakasakit ako. So, and that affects me, syempre, yung boses ko or ngongo ako, mababa yung boses ko, or stress ako, mabilis ako ma-stress. Even yung mga grand finals ko ng himig handog, oh my gosh, ang dami, ang dami kong <laughs> pinagdaanan ng mga moments na yun na syempre, hindi naman natin pwede ipakita because we just want to, especially in that, di ba? That's a, that's a, also a songwriting competition and parang yung task mo is to really deliver the song live pa for the first time. Pero, um, in, in moments like that, I just really try to, ano, parang to tell myself, kapit lang, we can do this and then after, when everything's done, we can calm down. <laughs> Pero napakadami po, there's so many ano moments na ganun na na I'm not in top shape pero I really have to pull through also because I'm not just thinking of myself but I'm also thinking about the people who bought the tickets the to watch the show or even or even um all the all the everyone na, na nagfly in to watch the show live so there's so many other things to consider rather than just myself so pero yeah we we just really have to pull through at the end of the day Um, it's challenging because una yun nga po, it's already a hit. It's already it's a masterpiece. It's a winning masterpiece. It's already a hit, and it's an anthem. So everyone who's everyone knows this song from from people na gusto lang talaga malift up to the LBG, LGBT also. So it's everyone's song. So I think for me was just really putting my truth with the song and how. Ako as as also someone who relates to the song, kung paano ko din siya ma-interpret in my way. And so, although there, I'm, 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 ako, I'm glad naman kasi pinakinggan ko syempre yung version din ni Miss Ima. Um, yung, of course, yung version ni Miss Red, which is lagi ko rin kinakanta. Pero I think when when they told me na I was I was chosen to reinterpret the song for its 25 25th anniversary. Hindi ko siya pinakinggan at all. Just because ayoko ng madala ayoko ng madala sa ano mang versions na nila Miss Reg sa kakay Miss Ima. Although because na gumawa kami ng um, bayanihan musika nila Miss Trina and ni Mr. C, I was already able to sing the song. Kasi nung time na na yun, so nabihan ako ni Miss Trina ng lyrics talaga. <laughs> so, medyo yes. aware na ako sa ano sa mga changes ng lyrics in love, <laughs> sa cutting, and then walk in, yung mga ganun. So, naka-note na yun. Pero hindi ko hindi ko um, after just listening to it one time sa, or, sa previous versions, hindi ko na siya inulit-ulit-ulit because ayokong, ayokong it will sound also the same. I also just wanted to um, bring my own flavor into the song, which, um, and of course, dala, dala lang din po talaga ng arrangement ni Sir Troy Loretta na sobrang grandiose na. So, ako, when I was recording, ano yung envision ko, kahit na pandemic, Araneta, yung mga ganun, Araneta, <laughs> mo arena makakanta mo tapos lahat ng tao kumakanta just not because I'm the one singing it but because it's their anthem for the longest time and I'm just really looking forward for that to happen in the future hopefully when live shows are back again and we're all able to just just perform live for people again and I'm looking forward to that moment that we can all sing shine together talaga <laughs>